to me, get your cotton picking hands off of that. This is wrong on so many levels, bro. Hey, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. What is y'all doing? Turn on post notifications, man. Also, I need y'all to do me a big favor. Go in the link in the description box below. All right? Subscribe to your boy podcast channel. Also, be the pinned comment, the very first comment in the comment section down below. Follow your boy on IG. Without further ado, let's get it. Let's go. It's in the teacher's mic. I probably shouldn't have been doing it. And what took place next has this Farmington High School student and many others in the school community appalled. She says to me, get your cotton picking hands off of that. Like, I don't think I comprehended what she said at first, and then she repeated it. And it was all caught on video. You cannot. First off, first off, let me let me say it like this. Now, a lot of people know I don't look at race, but this right here is the most disrespectful stuff that you could ever say, okay? I don't care who you are, bro. You should never tell nobody, get your kind of big hands off of it. Like, bro, you could say so many other different stuff. I understand teachers get fed up with students. I understand that students do, do dumb stuff to get teachers upset. But it's a it's to a certain level where you just you can't cross the boundary, you know what I'm saying? Because one thing I learned is first of all, teachers, managers, all like bro, y'all talk to other people as if they're not people. Y'all talk to them as if they're your child. You know what I'm saying? You are talking to somebody else's child. You gotta watch how you talk to these kids because one thing they're gonna do is go back to their parents. That's gonna escalate to a whole nother situation. And now <laughs> it's six, seven, it's six, eight people pulling your casket because you just got knocked up out you feel me you gotta really watch how you talk to these kids bro i'm telling you like and y'all gotta watch how you talk to people period you should never tell nobody get your kite picking hands off of it you should never tell nobody that bro that is the most disrespectful racist thing you could ever say all right <laughs> you could have said so many other stuff but you decide to say cotton picking hands you if you don't say that's racist then i don't know what <laughs> look I, I don't look at race but that come on now y'all y'all gotta come on bro that's way too far, okay? That's way too far. I don't care if a person say the N-word. I don't care about none of that. But then when you say, get your cotton and pick your hands off of it. Now, that's too far, bro. That's way too far, dude. You know what I'm saying? You could say way more stuff, but you say that. That's, come on, man. Say that. Like, that's really bad. And so then she goes, it's an old saying that we used to say. And so I go... <laughs> well, who do you think they said it to? The event sparked students at Farmington and nearby North... <laughs> Well, who do you think they said it to? <laughs> Bro, ain't no way she said that. This is crazy, dude. The Farmington High to walk out of their schools Thursday afternoon and protest of this incident and to support the student. No justice! And we're tired of injustice. We're tired of having to face this in our school. We're supposed to come to learn. We're done with it. Yeah, you got, you got, you got to stand up for what's right. And you can't just can't let that slide. My parents are really upset about this. Parents were also upset by the incident. It's hurtful that something like that is still going on. I'm so sorry it's happening. It's intolerable, especially in 2022. The superintendent of the school district also responding. The administration immediately addressed the situation and removed that uh, that substitute uh, teacher. Um, and Not only that, bro, she was a substitute. You wasn't even a real teacher. You was a substitute. Oh my man! Like I like, bro. Like I said, this that was way too far. All right, it's certain stuff you can say. And I know a lot of people. Uh, well, how you allow a white person to say the n word? But once they say cotton picking hands, you get offended. Like no, I'm not getting offended at it. I just feel like it's way too far. And me personally, I believe that words should never hurt you. All right, words should never hurt you. I don't get offended at words. I don't get offended when people call me monkey gorilla. I, I don't get offended at that. That's just words, bro. That stuff. It doesn't hurt my feelings. But what I'm saying is the way that you talk to others, you got to watch the way you talk to others. Because when you're saying stuff like that, bro, that really can trigger something in a community. You feel me? In so many different cultures, so many different communities. Like, it could just trigger something. You feel me? When you say stuff like that. All right? Now, if a person called me a N-word or something, I won't get offended. If that teacher said, Kyle and picking hands to me, I won't get offended. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. All right? But I'm thinking about his feelings. I'm thinking about this generation all right this generation is soft they allow words like that to hurt them me personally i don't allow stuff like that to hurt me because it's just a word it's words that was used back then and if they want to use it now that stuff doesn't hurt because i know that my hands are not cotton picking you feel me i have never picked cotton a day in my life so i don't care but i'm just defending the i'm just defending the student that this teacher said that to all right, that's what I'm doing. I'm just defending the student that the teacher said that to. It's too far. 
You know, you don't say certain stuff like that, especially to other people's kids. That's the thing, bro. You don't say that to other people's kids, bro. That's not your child. This is a whole, bro, this ain't your child. You feel me? So it's just, you got to watch how you say stuff, bro. That's why I said this is just the complete most disrespectful racist thing that you could ever see. You know what I'm saying? I'm only saying racist for the title. I'm not going to lie. You know, just a marketing type of thing. All right. You know, just for the marketing. I'm just saying. All right. So if you're an entrepreneur, you know, this is for marketing. Racism. You know. Anyways, that's, that's the point. All right. Let's come on. And, and, and worked with their contracted service to make sure that she's not back. In fact, this substitute teacher is no longer allowed to teach anywhere in the district. The superintendent also applauded the victim in this incident for immediately going to staff members who deal with conflict. Well, that's a real testament to the relationships we try to build with students in our school. The superintendent says it was crucial for students to make their voices heard. And I want to applaud all of them for doing it peacefully. The victim in this incident says he has a message for the substitute teacher. I just hope you can find some uh, love in your heart. I don't have any hate towards her. I feel like the only way that the only way that things are gonna change is if everyone has love for everyone. In Farmington, Ingrid. Hey man, my brother. Hey freaking man, bro. The only way things go change is people have love for each other, bro. That's the only way things go change. That's the only way people go stop having this hatred in their heart towards black, white people. Like, look, the reason I don't look at race is because I look at love. All right, I love each and everybody. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Yes, it is some racist white people. It is some racist black people. I'm not taking that away. There is. That's why I don't allow words to offend me or hurt me. But the way that you say, the things that you say to other people, you got to realize that their feelings will hurt their feelings will be hurt especially this generation okay and i'm not saying that he's soft you know what i'm saying i'm not saying that oh he's soft because he let that hurt him I'm like no bro what she said was very disrespectful and this should never been said point blank period you should never say like especially in a especially in a business field okay you you at your job you should never ever say nothing like that to hurt another person's feelings bro you at work Okay, I understand he probably was touching something he should have been touching. I understand he probably was getting on your nerves the whole class period, whatever. You should never, ever call him the end or say, oh, God, I'm picking him. Like, you should never do that. That should never be done. Y'all let me know y'all thoughts on that, uh, on this situation down below, man. Hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications. I love each and every one of y'all, man. Uh, yeah, bro. I, pfft, it's ridiculous. Okay, it's honestly ridiculous. We need to find love. The only way things go change is when we find love for each other. If we love one another and treat each other the way that we want to be treated. That's the only way things will change. But I, uh, I love y'all, man. Hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications. Be your buddy, pan. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.